My name is Roberto Johnson. In October 22nd of 2014, I was diagnosed with adenoid cystic carcinoma. In June, July time frame of 2014, I was brushing my teeth when I felt a lump on my gums. Um, initially, I ignored the lump because it did not cause me any pain or discomfort. But after a period of time when I was brushing my teeth, I noticed some pain and discomfort. At that time, I made arrangements to see my primary dentist. I saw him. He suggested I get a root canal, which I did. After a couple of weeks after root canal, I discovered that I still had the same symptoms, the discomfort and the lump on my gums. Then it was decided I would go to an oral surgeon who surgically removed the lump, sent it to the lab, and on October 22nd of 2014, I got the results back that it was positive for adenoid cystic carcinoma. To be quite honest, when I got the results, you really could have knocked me over the feather. I never really saw that coming. I, I wasn't a smoker, not a drinker. Uh, I didn't dip or do, do the tobacco products. So it did kind of catch me off guard out of the blue. He told me that he would, uh, it would be a major surgery. It required a loss of some teeth and some bone and part of my palate. And I knew that going in. He actually took the time to show me a skeletal model and he actually showed me on the model of the skeleton of the head where I would actually be losing my teeth and my bone. I actually went to see a doctor in Gainesville for a second opinion. And actually coming out of that meeting with the doctor in Gainesville, he made the statement to me that struck, struck home with me. He said that it's not the building, it's the doctor. And after hearing the statement, it's not the building, it's the doctor, that's when I knew that Dr. Fernandez was the doctor I wanted to go and do the surgery with. I can say in my lifetime, I've never ever had a doctor give me their personal cell phone number. And when I was given Dr. Fernandez's personal cell phone number and I was told I could call him any time, I knew then that I was on to something. I knew then that he was the right person. I was in the hospital at UFL for two and a half days and the whole time I was there, they were uh, very nice. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a kinder group of people to tend to take care of me. Although I did have some side effects. I think my side effects because I had the proton therapy was far less than I might have had if, let's say for instance, I had had conventional radiation. One of the reasons I say this is because going through the radiation with the proton, I never had a need for a feeding tube and I never had any issues with swallowing. I've come to find out that UF Health is more than just a trauma center. I mean, they, it's the first rate hospital here and so I would recommend to anybody that would take the time to at least to go to the hospital and, and do a consultation with anybody for any kind of surgery they might be having. I was sent to the right person from the beginning. What I mean by that is that I was referred to UF Health and Dr. Fernandez the day that I was diagnosed and on my own I consulted with other people. I went to Gainesville I called other local hospitals, just trying to find out if I was heading in the right direction. And anywhere I went, I kept coming back to UF Health and Dr. Fernandez. No matter what turn I made, no matter who I spoke to over the telephone, no matter what website I went to, no matter what research I did, I ended up coming back to UF Health and I realized that in God's providence, he had me sent to the right person at the right time, right from day one.